Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma. In this video, I want to talk about the seven lessons I wish I knew as a teenager. I remember I have done a lot of mistakes. There are some things that I could have done better. And so I want to share that with you on this video itself. This is going to be more like a personal story type of a video in which I share some of my own things that happened with me, my own experiences so that you can connect with it and you can learn from it as well. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe. And the first one is going to be the fact that balance is so important in life. I remember when I was preparing for my IIT JE advanced exam, I would just beat myself up. I would solely focus towards solving as many questions as possible, just sitting at one place and not moving much and just solving questions for hours and hours on end. When I was in my coaching institutes, I should have realized the importance of taking breaks, for example, eating something light in between or just shifting up my schedule a little bit so that I can try out something different. Balance is so important because of all of the exertion and pressure I put on myself when I was in 11th and 12th, preparing for my exams, my weight dropped by about 20 kgs and it was just not a healthy place for me to be in. There are a bunch of pictures you can see as on the screen and you can understand what I was going through. So this is one advice I would give to myself. Balance is really important and trying to create that balance is key when you are a student, when you are trying to prepare for some exams, when you are trying to do something really hard. Make sure that you create that balance for yourself. Everything is great, but doing too much of one thing is just going to be detrimental. I should have realized the fact that working, you know, 14 hours or 15 hours every single day, studying for that long will end up giving you diminishing returns, right? And I wish I knew that when I was studying for my exams. That's number one. Number two is going to be the fact that exercise is so much important. You might not realize the impact of it, when you are in your teenage years, I was certainly just sitting at one place and solving questions or playing some game or just randomly watching movies on the internet by lying down. And this sedentary lifestyle is really not perfect for you. Of course, I will not see the effects of it right now when I'm 20, but I will surely see that on the later stages of my life. So a big big lesson I have learned right now is the importance of exercise. These days I normally walk around 17,000 steps every single day and I've made sure that I get some sort of exercise in. That could be push-ups, that could just be going to the gym and getting a proper workout or just anything in between of whatever work I'm doing. So this is a very important lesson that I wish I knew when I was in my teenage years. Not just exercise, I think I would have also focused a lot more on meditation, on maybe yoga and I would have been much better if I would have spent some time learning about how this works and why my mental being is so much important. Lesson number three is the fact that self-worth cannot be defined by your grades, your percentages and the marks that you get when you are in school or you're preparing for some college entrance exam. This is the biggest lesson that I would tell myself. I was the typical Sharma ji ka ladka back in school and so every single grade I used to get used to be like I am happy because I got these grades. I am sad because I didn't do so well in my exam. I used to create these narratives for myself. My self-perception would completely change based upon my grades and how well I'm doing in particular subjects. Once you start assigning your self-worth to your grades, it gets toxic very quickly. There is a drastic shift at this point in my way of thinking right now. I'm at a point at which even if I fail in any course, I just don't care because I have different metrics that determine my progress and how well I'm doing in life. I used to be harsh on myself. I used to beat myself up when I wasn't doing too well in a particular subject. And so I wish I knew this when I was at that point in life. Lesson number four, I wish I knew that being a loner isn't cool. I always had that image of being a lone wolf, just doing everything on my own. But at the end of the day, we're all humans and we've all been hunter gatherers for thousands of years and we work collaboratively much better than being alone and just working on my own. I wish I knew that. I wish I had more friends that I could connect with. I wish I had gone out of my comfort zone, trying to just make some friends or just in general, right? Just participate in more things. So I wish I would have done that. I was just hesitant or I was also just thinking that I'm just good with myself. I don't need anyone else. And that is a big mistake. You know, there's this quote, I don't know who said it. It was basically like, if you want to go fast, walk alone. But if you want to go far, walk together. And that is so true. I wish I was aware about that back then. The fifth lesson I wish I knew was the fact that there is no one 
path to success. There is no one set lane that you need to follow. This is so important for everyone out there who is listening this video. I had a very simple, clear image of what I wanted to do. And it was very much well defined that one, two, three, four, five, and that's how I live my life. Right? So it was basically me doing really well in my IIT exams, getting into the top IITs, working really well, having a great CGPA, having a great life. And then I would get placed at top tech companies as a software engineer role. Now, this is not the right thing to do at this age, I feel, because of the opportunities that are around you. You could just expose yourself to so many different things. You can try out so many different hobbies, try out so many different side hustles. You might never know what you like doing. Me just recording a random video in January 2020 led me to building this channel, led me to start freelancing, led me to building market up. And I had no idea that I will be here for two years. I had no clue. And so I wish I had told myself that there is no set lane that you need to follow for success. And it's just something that you define for yourself. For some people, success is having a nice family and just raising children and just, just being content. For others, it could be maybe changing the world. It could be being Elon Musk or whatever it is. But you have to define it for yourself and do not try to imitate or copy other people's journey, right? Because there's this quote that says, don't compare your day six with someone's day 600. And so I wish I was aware about this one fact. Lesson number six, I wish I had more empathy and patience. All of my teachers, if you would talk to them, they will tell you that I was very much studious, I was serious, but I also had this ego or this arrogance. I used to get angry really quickly and I was just not having patience. Whenever a teacher told me, do not do this, do not I would always backfire, I would always back question, I would say, why is this, why is this, why is this? I wish I had more patience at that point. I wish I would have stopped and looked at this problem from the perspective of the person who was trying to tell me something, trying to teach me some lesson. I wish I had the empathy to do that. So this is very important and I think that's also the reason I didn't use to like talk with a lot of people because I just had that thing that I am not right? That, that feeling that I am not right, I you might be wrong, I can never be wrong. So that's a very wrong thing, I should have worked on that a little bit more. And the last one, I wish I would have spoken up more, I would have interacted with more people, I would have gone for more competitions, I would have done more speeches in my life at school and when preparing. So this is really important, you know. I was always that lone kind of a kid who would just be reading books, learning about how the world works, watching some random lectures on MIT OCW when I was in 10th grade. I would just be exploring everything, but I would do it all by myself. And I was always afraid that if I to something, I would mess up, but people would make fun of me and it would just not be the right thing for me to do at this point. I was always that thing ki, hai, main toh, I'm more like a research type of a person, scientist type ka cheese, right? Typical stereotype. I wish I would have changed that. I wish I would have made more friends, talked with more people, being more open with how I'm feeling with them. But these are the seven lessons I wish I knew as a teenager. Let me know if there's something that you resonated with in the comment section as well. And I would love to interact with you over there. You can follow me on Instagram at Ishan Sharma 7390. I have learned a lot, but I have so much more to go. And that is what keeps me humble every single day. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at Ishan Sharma 7390. You can also share this video with your friends if you have any siblings it would really be helpful for them to learn about these things and uh, yeah that's pretty much all i have to say thank you so much i'll catch you in the next video if you're still watching just write i watch till the end in the comment section i'll catch you again Bye bye